I'm Alien St. Hilaire and in this video I'm going to show you a couple of more things you can do and interesting aspects of Mesh Central 2. So first of all I have Mesh Central 2 running over here and the first thing I want to show you is if you ever want to update Mesh Central. So the easiest is you go, uh, you stop Mesh Central, you go one up from uh, node modules and you type npm update mesh central and this will go and get the latest uh, mesh central 2 packages this will not delete any of your files or any of your uh, settings so it just updates the code and uh, the rest of your server will stay exactly as is so in my case it's not going to do anything because i'm already on the latest version but i did want to show you this um, the other thing i'm going to do i'm going to go back to node uh, modules and type node mesh central to run it again and once I'm running, I'm going to just keep this to the bottom here and you'll, you'll notice I'm back on the login page. So I'm going to log in, admin, password A in my case because I have a little weak password. And in between the two videos here, I've uh, added a second computer. So I now have two computers and I can click on a computer and, uh, for example, re do a remote desktop. And here I can remotely desktop to this computer. Now, what happens here is that the mesh agent on the machine AMT machine 7 is encoding the screen as JPEGs, sending that over to the web page um, on my browser here, and this is what I'm seeing. If you make the browser full screen, you can click on the full button and go full screen like this, and bam, you got full access to your computer. Um, I can, for example, uh, type note pad and you'll notice here it works really well I can type and so on uh, there's a little bit of artifacts because of JPEG but um, but it does reduce the bandwidth a lot and make it makes it very fast the other thing you can notice is that there's a save button this will save a screenshot of the screen you can also rotate the screen sideways this is useful if you have um, computers that have screen rotated but it's rarely used anyway so I'm going to disconnect the terminal on um, Windows. The terminal is, you know, shows you the command prompt on Windows. On Linux, Linux, it's especially important because then you, um, you know, there's some devices that don't have remote desktop capability. They don't have a screen or they don't have X running. So this is the main way you would access uh, the Linux terminal. Remote file. So here, there's a couple of improvements you'll notice. Uh, if you've used mesh one this one uh, automatically updates when you change some so when something changes in the remote folder so um, so for example i can <clears throat> i can drag and drop a file let's see i have a picture here i'll drag and drop it the picture got uploaded but as soon as the, the upload occurred um you know the the uh, display on the screen here changed so what I can do is I have I happen to have access to this computer that you're seeing on the screen uh, off screen here and what I can do is just make a quick change to something in the temp folder like I'll create a new folder and you'll see that the new folder popped up there so as things change remotely on this screen um, you know you don't have to click refresh at any time the the screen auto refreshes uh, as as things change on a remote computer so that's really nice to upload files you can drag and drop like i did or you can click the upload button say choose files and pick one or many files you want to upload and uh, they get uploaded so that's nice new folder uh, if you want to rename you can click rename here and change that boom if you want to delete a file click on it and uh, select it using the little checkbox hit delete and you got that deleted. So really nice. Um, now, another thing I want to show you guys is the fact that this entire UI is really fast. And the reason it's really fast is because you're not actually changing web pages here. You're just changing tabs inside the same web page. So as I'm moving through this application and all these tabs, um, there's nothing really that gets loaded on the server. So very, very fast UI. But the UI is also real time. So I'm going to bring up a second uh, browser here. So I have my Chrome on the right, Firefox on the left, and I'm going to log in using the same account. And I just want to show you guys 
I'll update that, that uh, if I make a change here, for example, I'm going to change the icon, then the icon changes there too. And that's because the entire UI here is real time. Um, if, as you add devices, as you uh, delete devices, or do anything, then uh, the, the UI is always current. You never need to hit the refresh button. So that's kind of cool. Um, the other nice thing you can do, for example, you can change the, the name of the computer. I'll add three A's at the end of this. It will show up right there as soon as I click OK. Boom. And so, um, and so, and by the way, you don't have to be just on the same account. If you have two different users on two different accounts, it still works. So I'm going to log out. I'm going to create another user called, let's suppose, guest. And I'm going to just type in uh, a dummy password here. So now I have a new user called guest. And it can't see any computers. And of course, you, you could create a new mesh here and so on and so forth. But what I want to do is... Um, is grant this user guest access to my mesh. So I'm going to go to my account, look at my mesh here, say add user, type guest, and select a full administrator on that. And boom, you see that now guest has access to my machines. So I can click on, as a guest, I can click on the machine and have full remote control over it. And then at any time, <coughs> I can go here and say, I don't want guest to have access to my machines anymore. I need this little garbage can. You say go, boof, and the guest is um, can't see my machines. Uh, the same for the event log and other things. Uh, they, they, you know, this, it cleans up correctly. Um, <clears throat> another thing to note is if you are administrator on the server, so any user can change the password and uh, delete their, their own account. You can also delete a mesh right here. Uh, if you want to delete a, a device, you can delete the, the device right here. Um, by the way, deleting a device doesn't remove the mesh agent from the device. So what happens is the next, next time that the mesh agent reconnects, it, the device will, will pop up again. So if you want to get rid of a device, you have to go and uninstall the mesh agent from that device. But if a device has not showed up for a long time or you know the agent is not running on the device anymore, you can just click it and say delete device and, and you'll it'll go away. Um, another thing is, as a device stays connected on uh, to your server, these power lines will uh, fill up. And so you see a little black here, and this black bar will go bigger and bigger. I don't know if my other device uh, doesn't have much uh, size, but as, as you know, you go throughout the day, this little black bar will get bigger and bigger. And if you move your cursor on it, it will tell you exactly between what time and what time this bad black bar um, represent during the day. So the full width here is one day, and you can see um, seven days back when the computer has been on or off. You can also see the state. Um, yeah, just a lot of, of, of wonderful things here. So anyway, basically that's it. Uh, for now, we basically have uh, the first beta of Mesh Central 2. It has all the basic features you need for uh, remotely storing files on the server, if you want to do that. Uh, by the way, uh, as you store files on the server, there is a quota system. So you, you can set how, uh, how much uh, data you want your users to, uh, to have for storing data. And this is the My Files uh, bucket. And there's also a, a bucket for each of your meshes. So this will be used in the future for mesh agents to be able to upload and download files to their uh, mesh bucket. So that's that's what's uh, available in my files. Otherwise, you know, full remote control of, of computers remotely, you know, really, really nice. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.